morning guys good morning on a beautiful day in seattle uh, today i'm will be going on a small half a day trip uh, to a nearby waterfall it's very beautiful and uh, this will be my second waterfall in seattle uh, it's going to be a quick ride but it's going to be an amazing one the weather outside as soon as we leave seattle it's going to change and that's, that will be a big surprise for you guys so let's go and uh, have some fun today that day we decided to visit the Snoqualmie Falls. It was snowing heavily and there was a warning for snowstorm. The snow chains were also recommended but we were driving a full cross for all the drive car. We decided not to cancel the plan. We also saw multiple accidents on the way to Snoqualmie Falls and uh, cars without all-wheel drive were struggling on the snowy roads. As you could see, we were also kind of scared to drive in these weather conditions, but we were also excited to visit the falls. On our way to the falls, we also saw Summit at Snoqualmie. It's a winter resort located on Snoqualmie Pass. It provides alpine skiing and snowboarding, also Nordic skiing and winter tubing. We were not appropriately dressed for the given snow conditions, so we decided not to stop at the winter resort, but maybe next time. Seattle has a lot of outdoor adventures and one of them which is easily accessible is Snoqualmie Falls. Snoqualmie Falls is 30 minutes away from Seattle downtown and it is one of Washington state's most popular scenic attractions. More than 1.5 million visitors come to the falls every year and at the falls you will find a 2 acre park, gift shops, observation deck 
and the famous 270 foot waterfall. The day I went to the falls it was raining and uh, as I mentioned earlier there are two observation decks. The first one is very easily accessible from the nearest parking lot. You actually don't have to walk it's like 100 meters and the view from the first observation deck is not that great but you can still click some pictures here and because it was raining there was a lot of water for water in the falls and it was a very good sight to watch After a quick stop at the first observation spot, we started walking towards the second observation deck where you will get a better view of the waterfalls and you can click some awesome pictures as well. I myself took a couple of selfies. observation deck there's a one mile round trip hike to the bottom of the waterfalls the day i went it was raining so i did not do the hike but i have heard like, pretty good reviews about the one mile round trip hike if you guys are in seattle and plan to visit snowpalmy falls i would highly recommend you do the one mile round trip hike to the bottom of the waterfalls to get a better view of the waterfall It was a quick half day trip for us because it was raining and as well as snowing and the driving conditions were very bad. We decided to take a pit stop on our way back to Seattle and I took some couple of pictures and videos just to show you guys how much snow was there on the streets and uh, we could also see that some of the kids were happily playing in the snow and I pretty much enjoyed the weather even though it was a bit cold. you guys enjoyed a quick peek into the snowfall me falls please do show some love support and subscribe to my channel bye